Hello guys, Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. We're currently in Edinburgh on Monday. I forgot to record this morning, the GoPro was dead. But we're picking up a 14 ton digger for down the road. We also have a couple of things to do as well. We've also got a couple of backloads up the road, but it's all a wee bit at the moment. But anyways, without further ado, let's get in to this week's video. Right, here we are, picked up in here. I don't want to just fire in with the truck, so it's sat around the road. I feel like I probably would get my lorry in here, but that corner's a bit worrying. I think I'm just going to track out to the main road and take it out for there. Ah, here we go, here she's here. We've found her right at the very back. A wee bit of an older model, but I think she'll do it. Oh, yeah. How many buckets we got? Just the one bucket? <laughs> yes, come on back. All right. Let's get up to the lorry boys. Let's get up to the lorry. All right. So we're ready, everything's ready to go. The only thing we've got is the wet bed, the wet steel, steel tracks. It's the only thing you need to watch. Sometimes you can be a bit slippy. It just depends what day it is. Let's go get it loaded. And hopefully it's relatively easy. There we go boys, she's loaded, all done, chained down, pulling forward into the neck, obviously bucket down, wood for the dozer blade, wood for the bucket, strap over the top, I mean realistically it's not going to move but it is an older machine, it might move a wee bit and also it just keeps the Vosa happy. Anyways, let's go ahead and get out this wee country road because we're causing a bit of havoc and we did actually get a, win, uh, a wing mirror hut by a truck. Uh, who didn't stop, which was nice. Um, as you can see, he's just clipped it. He's clipped it there. He's cracked that plastic bit. You can see his yellow paint there. I know it's a tiny wee detail, but oh, I've just made that worse. Unfortunately, he caught it, cracked the plastic, and just kept driving. Stopping in for a bit of the old diesel, had to sling it across, and uh, a fuel cap's down there. Well boys, 4 hours and 29 minutes, and if that's not timing, I don't know what it is. Look, we're literally about to roll in here, bang on, as she hits 4.5. Come on, hit 4.5, just before I stop at the end of this lay-by, so that two lorries can get in. It's a lot of things in life. It's a lot of things in life. Anyways, bang on 4.5 hours, uh, we're here for a break. We'll see you all in 45 minutes. Oh, right here we are parked up in Barnsley. We've just got dinner on the go. Now, I mistakenly, mistakenly, mistakenly didn't go to the shops for dinner, so I'm on the Heinz Tins Beans. Obviously, I have these for emergencies in case I get parked up somewhere where there's no food or bad planning or all that kind of jazz, and it's just a wee quick snack I can fling on. But tonight, it's dinner. Anyways, we're just quickly totting up our route for the week. We're actually fully booked as of Monday. Normally, Monday I'm kind of half booked and then it books up over the week. But uh, aye, so far I'm, uh, I'm booked for the week. Here's what we've got so far, 1,400 miles. Uh, I do apologise about the hands, but that is pretty much everywhere we've got to go. And that's actually wrong because we started in Kilmarnock to Edinburgh to Dumfries. 
I mean, I forgot to put Kamarnik back. So I'm just trying to work out. Uh, we've obviously got a half load coming back up from Telford. Um, so we need to find something else for that. But I'm just totting up now just to see what kind of miles we're looking at. And uh, so far, I 1,500 miles. Um, obviously, and we started in Kamarnik this morning, went to Edinburgh, now we're in Barnsley, then we're going to Wakefield, Wales, SY1, B90, GU34, BN7, back to Wales, Telford, Dumfries, Kamarnik, Bosch. But we'll see what else we can sort. Um, and yeah, should be a good wee week. Oh, all right, a couple hours on. I've done pee haw. Just gonna clean my lockers out. Just not motivated today. Anyways, we've got real steel playing on the back. Up at eight o'clock. Unchained. Place opens at eight thirty. Good night. Good morning. Here we are. Back where we started. It's obviously half eight. This place opens. Um, so we've just got 15 minutes until it's uh, pretty much ready. So uh, aye, I yeah, good. Just in case, just in case anybody forgot, it's this little Takuchi we've brought down the road. Right, it's a slack track, but well, let's get it off. Alright, so obviously we tipped that digger, drove 15 minutes and uh, <laughs> you might recognise this place again. Alright, lorry's all set up. Here we go, moving some more ambulances. Obviously the last time I came into one of these I made a really, really horrible joke about the, the door through the back there. So I'm not going to do that again. But it looked mint it, and, well not mint it, but like, just like well planned out and shit. Got the beacons in that. Let's get this weird gearbox. I've only ever seen on ambulances, it's like very American. Anyways, let's get unloaded. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't my finest moment. Obviously, put it under the van. And as you can see, it's not the same as a tractor unit where you can crawl under to get it back. Um, that, was, that was silly of me. Right, let's get the next one loaded. There we go, all nice and loaded. We bit kissing at the front, we bit at the back. Let's head for Wales. Right, hopefully Chow doesn't find out about this. I've done a bit of cheating. I passed by Chow's End on my way to uh, McDonald's and uh, I seen Katsu chicken curry and I thought, I'm not gonna get mine this week because I'm not up the A1. So we've got Katsu curry. Now first up, I mean, it doesn't look as much because it's a, like a longer tray rather than this wee tub. But sauce is also a wee bit watery. This has become a, a, a food tasting channel rather than a trucking vlog now. But let's see if she's any better. It's all right. It's all right. It's Ed, like, you know what I mean? I'd have this as a replacement. Obviously, it's not chow. Chow, I don't know, just tastes better. I don't know if that's because I'm just used to it, but still tastes edible. That is the main thing. Chow's 10 out of 10, chosen 8. Anyways, 50 minute break. Can I get a call? Do you want more? I don't know. 
lifting off of my fan of wheels, you know, dual carriageway, big tracks right there, big boy. All right, we've had to pull into wheels. We've got a low engine oil problem, luckily. A Volvo just down the road, so we've got some oil. Let's see how low she was. I'm pretty sure you can open, aye, you can open oil when it's warm, it's just cooling, isn't it? I'm not being an idea, am I? She's not actually that low, but the sensor's flashing. Engine oil level low, please fill immediately. There we go. Problem getting solved. Probably take the whole five litres to be fair, I reckon. There we go. Before it was down just below the red mark. <laughs> below the red mark, and now as you can see, it's a wee bit higher. We've got oil at the yard and all those kind of fluids, so I'd rather use the stuff that we've got at the yard rather than buying it here um, for £28 per five litres. Um, so I don't know how much that works out. It doesn't matter. We've got it at the yard. May as well use it at the yard. Same way I blew and all that jazz. So I let's head on to the offload. Here we go, boys. We're just pulling into Merrythur, your old Tiddlefold. That's how you say that in Welsh. All right. Here we are, back in Wales. Back to the place with ambulances and fire engines and all sorts. Anyways, we'll get these two whipped off. The two ambulances we brought down. Now we've got a back load of two vans to go a wee bit across to another load. Handy stuff. All right, let's get the first one off, nice and easy. Need to do my handbrake. I also bought gloves in their mediums, and they're a wee bit too small for me, but they'll do the job nice and easy. Now these are quite nice because you've got a nice big gap. It's not like when you're doing the tractor units, but they come off very easy. All right, one off. On to the next. This one's a wee bit more difficult because it's a wee bit lower. There we are, all delivered. And look at that. That's so cool in there, isn't it? It's all kind of nice, neat cupboard, uh, cupboards and that. I mean, I could go open the door, but I just feel like I'd be a bit nosy, you know? But I do like this. I want to press all that, but... <sighs> Customers first, boys, YouTube second. That is the joys of my job. We can't all be like trucker Tim, eh? Some of us have to be professional. <laughs> All right, so it's this van here, which is unfortunately a non-runner. We've got a winch, so it's all right. So I'm just double checking. She's a wee bit low at the back. I know it doesn't look low, but it'll be low when it's on the trailer. Hey, right, let's get her winched. There we go, she's all ready, that's just to stop that scratching. Get her winched up. Well, no power, so it's a wee bit of manual steering here, there's no power steering assist. But luckily we've got this wee remote, this byway, lifesaver. And obviously that just winches it up, and then obviously I can be in the cab and steer it. Which is good when you're solo loading. Anyways. It also means you can walk freely outside the van, and just make sure everything's going alright. 